Welcome, you're watching In China, Ling and Elliot here. Today we're going to talk about some weird stuff. The first topic is already creepy. There is a Chinese artist that took picture of himself and his late father's remains, skeletons I mean, that caused huge controversy. I don't understand. His father was buried 30 years ago. Why went through all of this to take him out? According to the artist, the picture was taken when the remains were wintered after damage occurred. So he did not let any child sleep by, huh? But what exactly for? Self-promotion or just those pictures? So he said he did it for art, of course, and he lost his father when he was three. He didn't remember anything about him. So it was his dream to take pictures with his father's bones. And don't forget he was naked in those pictures. Do you have to be naked to be art? Yeah, good question. But according to him, being naked is the most original existence of humankind. It's like my father has lost his flashes. How could I be wearing any clothes? That's creepy as hell. Yeah. So I think he just wanted to go viral. So mm. he took those pictures in a disrespectful way to his father. Yeah, on Weibo, there are a lot of people, most people are accusing him of being selfish, but there are still a small group of people who really like him. They think in our society in China, we are too sensitive to death, about talking about death. We should encourage more ways to demonstrate death. It's brilliant to demonstrate death, but definitely not by taking pictures with your father's skeleton. Yeah. Speaking of creepy. death, yeah, yeah, creepy as hell. Speaking of death, I heard there was a Pixar movie called Coco. Oh, yeah, I know that. It is a great movie. I watched it with all the bones and skeletons going around. It's not scary at all. Instead, it's cute and heartwarming. And do you know there were three deaths in Mexican culture? Mm -hmm. The first one is the physical one, the death of your body. The second one is more of a natural one, mm -hmm. when your body rests in peace. The third one is of essence when the memory about you fades. Okay, so to be forgotten is the third one, right? The mm. final death. Mm. So here's the question. When you are gone, how do you want to be remembered? I don't care, just don't pick me up. <laughs> In our first video, we talked about some Chinese girls love to lose weight. And you know what? Girls never fail to surprise you. Come on, shoot. Nothing could surprise me after what we just okay, discussed. Okay, um, it's a new kind of service online. You can pay someone to taste food or drink something for you. You can pay them to drink milk tea for you, or you can pay them to eat high calorie food. They will film it and you'll get a view in return. They're called substitute eaters. Ah, I saw that on Weibo too. I mean, someone could avoid eating, taking high calorie food, especially at late night. But mm -hmm. why on earth should I pay others to do this? They don't want to gain weight, but they do want the joy of doing those things. So they pay others to do it, so they can get indirect satisfaction. So it's just like watching food shows on YouTube. Yeah. You can get to those delicious food, but you can get satisfied just by watching. I'm curious, how many we pay for that? Not so many. Um, some people call it cloud eating or cloud, cloud drinking. Mm. Not so many people pay for this service. I guess most people follow this just for fun, just like us. You have to admit, whoever came up with this idea is a genius. Mostly those at university students provide this kind of service to the people there. No, I'm not going to pay for someone to eat for me, but I'm very happy to be paid to get a good wish. joy. Okay, so they can call you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, I even seldom watch the eating shows on YouTube, so I pass. Oh, what a shame. So, what do you think about taking pictures with your father's skeleton? Would you book for someone just to eat unhealthily for you? Please, let us hear your voice. And please like, save and subscribe our channel. More videos are coming up. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.